Central Agenda Program. That's the name of the program. Our main aim is to uh, bridge the gap between the Member of Parliament and his or her constituent, and also to find out the role of an MP. Uh, the constituents, are they aware of the role of the MP? And what is the relationship? How often do they meet to discuss the development of their constituency? Uh, we are lucky today once again to meet uh, with the MP for Gumwa West, Honorable Francis Kujo Atta. We will talk to him, find out his role as an MP and his relationship uh, with his uh, constituents. I'm here together doing this with Auntie Gifty. So we will go straight to the conversation and then Honorable, you are welcome. And you. Yes. Uh, we will ask first question. Auntie Gifty, maybe you want to ask the first question. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> because be before... Even before the introduction, uh, we already started this class. Now, I just want to find out how many times you visit your constituency in a year. How many times? Thank you very much. Fortunately, my constituency is not far from Accra. So, almost every weekend, I'm here. Okay. So, so, you know what? People don't even know which constituency, constituency we are talking about. So, let's start with an introduction. Where are we? What constituency is that? We are in Gomo West constituency, in Central Region. Yes. And uh, this place is not very far from Accra. My district capital is Akron. Okay. Where you are now is Gomo de Ram. And it's the second largest uh, community in Gomo West district. Yes. So, uh, we have a cluster of communities here. Uh, you can count up about about ten communities immediately within the radius of about two, three kilometers here. And so, when you come to the ramp, uh, somebody going to the nearby village, you say I'm going to the ramp because it's like the ramp is. The, 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 the capital of the cluster of villages here. Oh, okay. So people know the Rampong more than any other places. Mm. Of course, other names are there, but as usual, the Rampong is, the, is the, about the capital of this small area. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, Eric, I'll take the next one and then after that, I'll give it back yes, to you. Yes, yes. I just want to find out how you are doing at uh, your constituency. That's Gomwa East. Gomwa West. Uh -huh. uh, thank you very much. It's, yeah, it's a very broad question. But as usual, we have a role to play as a member of parliament, mm -hmm. and those rules are what we do specifically here. Mm -hmm. uh, essentially, we are legislators, but apart from that, we have some responsibilities in the communities. We are the representative of the communities. Mm -hmm. uh, whatever information they have, we take them straight to the parliament. Mm -hmm. So I come down often to take the information from the people, so I can relate it to parliament, and then let their voice be heard. Uh, that is one most important thing. Okay, that's fine. Um, but then, uh, before we, we, we came here, we had already done our background investigations and talked to the people to find out if they have uh, uh, any idea about the role of an MP. Like you said, uh, I, I would be very happy if you can quickly uh, give us some some of the things as an MP you do. Like you mentioned, the legislative aspect of it. What are other things you do as an MP? Thank you very much. Uh, as a member of parliament, you have the responsibility also to monitor some of the projects in the constituency. Mm -hmm. Government projects, go around, look at them so that you can make effective contribution where the need arises. Mm -hmm. uh, apart from that, you relate with the communities as I've said already. Mm -hmm. And people also come to you individually with problems. Mm -hmm. Either problems from their communities or individual problems. Mm -hmm. But you see, it is, it is very true that essentially most people do not know what the MP is supposed to do mm -hmm. and what the district executive is also supposed to do. Mm -hmm. So most places that you go, you see that people will be conflicting ideas here and there. Why do you think, uh, what do you think accounts for that? Because when we were talking with some of the people on our way here, mm -hmm. a lot of them would you know, we wanted to be to find out from them whether they knew you and your name and some of the things that you've been able to do for them. And well, a couple of them said, "Oh yes, she," you know. Mm -hmm. And to them, it's about the roads and all of them. In fact, most of them said the road. Mm -hmm. And so it looks like there's a missing link. Yes. They feel that it is your responsibility to provide the roads, to provide 
all those so that yes, yes. Talking about. Uh, thank you very much. That perception is there, but unfortunately, it is not the correct perception at all. Yes, that, that's why, I because, want to find out why. Yes, so why? Yeah, it's, it's because over the years, over the years, uh, there hasn't been much education as to the role of the MP, the role of the executive, executive, the role of the this assembly itself. And most people think that once they have voted for you, especially within the uh, literate population, uh, people think once they have voted for you, you should be able to do everything for them. Uh, do you know that after voting, you have a role to play, and somebody also does another thing. Yes. Uh, if you are talking of the rule, for instance, uh, they voted for you. So if the rule is not tied, they don't see why the MP hasn't got the rule tied. But the MP is only entitled his, to his common fund. First cannot take even one million of the rule. Uh, it's, it's the responsibility of the District Assembly and then other authorities. The best thing that the AP can do is to put it, make sure that it's put in the budget. He's given a contract and put in the budget. And then he sees to it that he comes around to monitor what is happening. Are there any problems? It's not the responsibility of the MP to construct the road. But you may have promised. No, I did not do that, honestly. <laughs> but it's the perception that the people have. So once the road is not tired, yes, uh, definitely th there's nothing you can do for them to understand. Like, like, uh, but honestly, <laughs> we, we are on. We can go yeah. on and on yes. and on with this discussion. I would like yeah. to uh, just in, in a minute or yeah, two, okay. summarize the role of okay. an MP in Fancy. Okay. In our local language, so oh, okay. that you will hear it. One minute. Uh, MP, let me pa oh yeah. Who's the kind of? Merciful Jumbo, Obwa, my wife is saying Mbra, Womenum, Jumidibia is Womenum, or the Mbra Kahu, Sam Brinka, Sabaka Fry, Chobebas, Womenum, and the Apis, yet may have a pain, yes, a brow and receive you. Now, sir, Mbran will be to Mbranas and Sasha Yetu, what I hope. Now, if you only few are, Apis, and so your responsibility for this assembly, which is what we have said. Yeah, the Junidibi or Yeshua, this assembly is waiting for you. You see, you're a co-opted member, you're a member of the this assembly. This assembly will share the way you will be here. Mr. Crown will be there with the MP, you will be here. On the day, you're monitoring, you go around, you won't be standing. Government put the people around, you go around and you also monitor. You see, that means you may be using it now, you have to go. Ma bani juma zina akodo. Namu sawa bani de, mpuntu juma kesi 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 zaida. Ano gani kwa sisi ni chede? Yenfema dhesi sa assembly. Ano na bain ukisika udibisi mwado. Nisi wapo accountant wale sa assembly. Wapo engineers wale sa assembly. Wapo planning officers wale sa assembly. Amana skipia na bain wale sisi wado. Wetu mwebu mafunta. Iye na mpi sidi. Sebi fashion kakra kakra baby. No, what about it? Be a money thing. No, it be they say here, it be a cement one or two bucks. Be a no, that's a portal. But then, if you tune in Jano in in here, in see a dying school, dying in in see hospital, Saka Saka, see a farm, my community. No, if you don't be a okay, you know. So, if you don't be sitting in there, now feed this, you know, what it's called a brain on the table. No, 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 you see, in the national, your community, you would say, yep, around the city, one summer, walk out one. Nia tu mnyato kwa parliament, nia tu abai na njim, na abai nusu adunvi na huu, nia sio sela kwa yembra wa sabu na huu, na wao yake kama wao yembra, ni la ba maeneo huu bain, ana sio huko bimpo wa maeneo huu, damu bain nusu 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 wa zimbra na dibi. Maybe I will invite you. Matthew. Question me of all the answers. Matthew. 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 We have done so much here. Wonderful. So it's been so interesting, educative. Uh, you've heard a lot from Honorable Francesco Joe Acha, MP for the Mormons. This is his second time, and you've heard all that he said. Seriously, this is our mission. Uh, getting the MPs to understand their role and making sure that they communicate that to their constituents, thereby constituents also are getting to understand the role of an MP. 
and making contributions when they meet and discuss about issues going on in Parliament. Central Agenda Program, that is our mission, that is our aim. Our coastal television, we are being powered by Star Ghana, and we will go to another community for more interactions. My name is Eric, and I'm here with you.